Today we're gonna talk about Futura 2000. Today on the turntable, we got the 2017 Super 7 Uncle 77 action figure box sets that were released in the San Diego Comic Con by Futura 2000. Whew, that was a fucking long ass sentence. Standing at 3.75 inches tall and enclosed in a 24 inch clamshell case, this figure was released by Super 7 to celebrate the UK trip hop collective Uncle and their founder, James Lavelle who released a similar figure back in 1998 that has since become a legendary collectible. After James Lavelle celebrated the release of Uncle's 1998 album, Science Fiction, by releasing a limited number of resin Uncle 77 action figures, the figures became a collector's item instantly. This was mostly because the figures were insanely fragile, which means that a majority of them haven't made it to the present day. Lavelle forged a visual collaboration with legendary graffiti artist Futura 2000 in creating the Point Man character slash mascot many remember. Designed by Ben Drury and based on the work of Futura 2000, these figures released in 1998 came in two colors, blue or green, limited to a thousand each. To celebrate Uncle's 25th anniversary, Lavelle returned to the figures and collaborated with Super 7 to release Point Man in 2017. The Uncle figure came in a life-size Point Man head box that is also certain of one of three records and a clear record adapter that comes as a display stand for Point Man. While he is primarily known as a graffiti artist, much of his work is as an illustrator and graphic designer of album covers. First becoming involved with The Clash in the 80s, he toured extensively with The Clash during the combat rock tours, performing with them on stage by spray painting backdrops whilst the band performed. Years later, James Lavelle and Futura alongside Ben Drury to produce artwork for several releases on Moax Records, who also released the Money Mark figure we featured before. This also led to Futura producing all the imagery which has largely defined Lavelle's uncle projects. During the 1990s, he was involved with clothing companies such as GFS, Subwear, and Project Dragon. More recently, much of Futura's work has evolved into the production of collectible toys, sneakers, and a diverse range of creative media, working with Recon, Nike, Medicom Toys, Undercover, Supreme, Levi's, A Bathing Ape, just to name a few. They actually just released a bunch of Futura Star Wars Funko Pops that were available at Target which I completely slept on and I kind of regret it. There were three different box sets that were released. A pink one, which is this one, that contains this 45 single, The Road, and the pink figure. A blue set that features the single, Nowhere to Run, a blue camo figure, and the green set that comes with a copy of the single, Looking for the Rain, and the green camo figure. The different boxes were limited to 500 versions of each. These figures were exclusive to the San Diego Comic Con in 2017. A few of these can still be found online for around 100 bucks, or all three versions for up to 600 bucks in some places. I can't wait to play this. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if I missed anything. If you have anything to add to the conversation or simply want to be like, yo, this thing is dope, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Peace.